Hey guys, uh, we are here at Tokyo Game Show 2019, and here with me is uh, Shuhei Yoshida, president of Worldwide Studios. Thank you for spending time with us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so it's been a great Tokyo Game Show this year. There's many gameplay trailers, so many demos, and mm -hmm. great booths. So, yep. what has to be your favorite, you know, thing here at the show? I have to say it's uh, Kojima-san's presentation yesterday. Uh, I wasn't able to watch it live, but I watched the archive. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's uh, not translated uh, as yet, uh, so it's in Japanese, but the, he spent like uh, 15 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, sh uh, talking over the gameplay through of Death Stranding. Mm -hmm. I, I think it was a f the first time for lots of people to mm -hmm. be able to see how actually the game works. Mm -hmm. And I had the privilege to play a few hours of the game already mm -hmm. uh, in my office mm -hmm. uh, before, but the, what he showed, um, there are many things I was not aware of when I mm. played it myself mm. because uh, he talked about stranded um, gameplay. It's like uh, connecting right. with other players mm -hmm. and uh, you can help you know, with each other. Mm. That's really, really interesting game mm. mechanic. I am so excited. I think uh, a lot of people were really blown away by the gameplay that was shown there on the stage yesterday. Yeah. Um, and I think there are a lot of uh, Southeast Asian like creators, studios right here at the Game Show as well. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. I have to mention, there are two games uh, being developed in Malaysia mm -hmm. on the Tokyo uh, game show who are playable. Uh, one is Gigabash from Passion Republic. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, you know, brawler, kaiju brawler, you know, four-player uh, uh, fighting game or kind of thing. And it's really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Play, you know, I, I, I played with other uh, people who are mm -hmm. attending at TGS and actually I won. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, super fun. Uh, it's still early, uh, but uh, they are uh, trying to develop the game with uh, uh, people's input. <laughs> yeah, so uh, probably you have more chance to see it and uh, they are willing to hear the feedback. Yeah. Another game is called uh, a Bacon Switch. Mm. It's a family friendly, uh, fun co op and uh, competitive uh, action game mm -hmm. uh, by Streamline Studio, mm -hmm. you know, again from Malaysia. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's a really fun, you know, couch co right. play. It's great for family and uh, friends. Uh, so I am super excited to see these Asian games, you know, coming out. I think, I think we're all very excited to see what the Southeast Asian vision has to, sh you know, to show for the gaming industry. Um, but let's move on to a bit about PSVR. Yep. So over the past year, you know, we have seen games like Astro Bot Rescue Mission, mm -hmm. uh, Blood and Truth, mm -hmm. Tetris Effect. Yep. And I think at this show here, we have yep. Iron Man VR, you know, a game where you actually play as the Armored Avenger. You know? And I think that's something that a lot of people have been wanting to do. You know? mm. So like, do you think that um, Iron Man VR is a perfect fit for the PSVR? Iron Man VR is an amazing game. <laughs> Yeah, I was blown away when I tried the game for the first time uh, last year. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not just uh, perfect for PSVR, but it shows the potential mm -hmm. of VR itself. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the, the developer came up with a really smart mechanic mm -hmm. to use the two move, you know, new controllers, mm -hmm. uh, so that you feel like you are uh, really Iron Man. Right. You know, like uh, you can fly uh, anywhere. You know, in the sandbox. Yeah. Uh, space and uh, it's it's beyond imagination that mm. you are able to do inside the you know VR space. Yeah. I think that's a game that a lot of people are you know getting waiting waiting to get their hands on. Mm. Um, talk about VR, I think yeah. Concrete Genie mm -hmm. has a VR portion as well, as well as a yeah. non VR portion. And what we have seen so far is a very beautiful and you know well art directed game. Yeah. So what do you think gamers can expect from that game when it releases next month? Yeah, it's a beautiful game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the you know original idea came from the you know I think anyone uh, in uh, childhood uh, did some drawing you mm -hmm. know yourself and imagine if this drawing mm -hmm. uh, start coming to life and uh, so that's the idea and uh, the game allows you to. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to be uh, good at drawing. Right. Um, the game really helps you to feel like you are a great mm. artist. Mm. The game gives you, uh, you know, lots of you know interesting parts, mm -hmm. so that you can just you know move the controller, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, really beautiful art mm. uh, uh, comes up in the in mm. the game. Mm -hmm. And the another thing is the the when you create a draw a creature, mm -hmm. that creature start you know, moving right. and help you in the adventure of the game. Mm. So in addition, you know, if you have a PS, 
experience we are, you can be inside the world of uh, ash and uh, uh, the concrete genie and um, uh, be able to draw inside the world mm -hmm. of concrete genie mm -hmm. and what you draw uh, start you know coming to life yeah. that, that's amazing experience I think experience it's a great way for people to show off their creativity because they're very their own sort of um, uh, genies that they create within the game itself yeah um, and I think talking about creativity yep. dreams universe you know that game I think is just blowing everyone's minds. Like I, I think you yourself shared, uh, we tweeted the Kaiju Simulator mm -hmm. game that was, uh, it was just yeah, it's called Ruckus, 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 yeah. which was just looks so adorable and looks great to play. Yeah, I, I'm sure you have many other tips for great levels for Dreams Universe. So, what so far have been your favorite projects from creators? Yeah, well, so Dreams is you know one of my favorite project ever yeah. that we are doing. You know, I've been saying Dreams. As we have ten-year vision yes. for dreams to you know keep growing uh, with the community, and uh, we uh, launched dreams as early access uh, because we knew that you know dreams uh, makes things very easy for people to create. Mm -hmm. But still, the game allows so much uh, that it's gonna take time for people to get you know get around uh, to be able to create you know what they want. So uh, we. Uh, started as early access mm. and uh, <laughs> make sure that only people at this stage mm. who are interested mm. in creating mm. rather than just uh, you know playing uh, with playing other people's creation um, that will come later mm. but we are focused super focused on talking to uh, people who have creative you know mind mm. Mm. Uh, to use the tools of dreams mm. and start making and uh, give feedback mm. to media molecules team so mm. that you know we can improve mm. the tool set right. at the same time as people uh, create <laughs> like a beautiful art you know some people are focusing on creating you know, great characters mm. character animations mm. and AI mm. and other people are uh, focused on creating game mechanic mm -hmm. and those people are getting together mm -hmm. you know finding each other within dreams mm -hmm. and uh, start forming a team mm -hmm. to create a full game right so the Rakas is a great example mm -hmm. of full featured game mm -hmm. you know but many many others are still a very beautiful piece of art mm -hmm. or some nice character animation mm -hmm. or some you know interesting uh, game mechanic mm -hmm. yeah but uh, it's going to take um, more time mm -hmm. for those people to get together mm -hmm. and start making crew games. Mm -hmm. So that's the process that we are seeing mm -hmm. and we've been helping the community mm -hmm. to grow like that. I think as you said, you know, as time goes on, we can see more ambitious projects, yes. more crazy games out there, even like artworks or even music that you know, what Dreams, can, Dreams Universe can create for everyone to enjoy. Yeah. I think last but not least, uh, Insomniac Studios. <laughs> so, obviously, they just joined the Worldwide Studios family um, last month. Yeah. Um, what do you think that Insomniac Studios can actually add to the first party portfolio that we already have? Well, we have a long history of uh, working with Insomniac. The first project we worked as publisher and developer uh, was uh, Spiral the Dragon. Yes. And that was like a 19. 98. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so we've been working together uh, over 20 years. Mm. Um, many, many Ratchet and Crank games and Spider Man game. Yeah, so the in terms of uh, uh, relations, uh, we slightly changed mm. from uh, independent developer and publisher relations to be the part of you know, Worldwide Studio. So we are super excited that they, they can work even closer. They are already, you know, friends of many of our mm. studios, mm. like Naughty Dog and Insomniac, mm. you know, uh, started making games on PlayStation right. 1 in the same office, yes. right? Yeah, so the Insomniac is already uh, very, has good relationship mm -hmm. with many of, uh, of our studios. Uh, but um, by becoming part of our mm. studio, I can foresee the tight, you know, relations mm -hmm. will even become more you know, integrated mm. or, you know, they can, we can share like a new uh, hardware mm. techniques or um, uh, some tools mm. uh, even more freely mm. uh, with insomniac people. So mm. the uh, number of titles might not be different, you know, from working as independent developer mm. and publisher, 
to become part of our studios, but the tighter relationship with our, our other studios mm -hmm. or hardware groups mm -hmm. uh, might make uh, Insomnia Games future titles right. even greater right. or you know our teams will be able to learn right. you know uh, uh, things from mm -hmm. you know Insomnia mm -hmm. team so that that's what I'm so excited yeah. uh, for the future so I think the synergy that you know bring Insomnia into the family I think we just can't wait to see what future games you'll create yeah. down the road uh, I think we're just about to wrap up the interview. Are there any last things like to say to our, our fans uh, on PlayStation Asia? Yeah, well, every time I go to Asia, uh, I, I'm so impressed with the passion uh, that the you know PlayStation fans have uh, toward you know playing our games and uh, you know supporting uh, our developers. Mm -hmm. And I'm so so super excited mm -hmm. with the new breed of developers. Uh, coming out from you know south east, east asian you know countries like you know we talked about passion republic for example uh, so um i i can s just see more and more uh, original titles uh, coming from this region mm -hmm. so that's my uh, thing that I, I'm most excited about. I think all of us are really excited to see how the game industry develops in our region. Yeah. Right, so thank you so much Yoshida san for thank spending you. time with us and I hope you enjoy the rest of the game show. Yes, thank you. Right. Today's station.